Welcome back to day 17, Countdown with me, Coffee and Tea. Today, we're reading a little bit from my book, and then a little bit of chat. So in my In His Love book, uh, December 17th, it says, and saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. And that's found in Mark 1, 15. Well, let me tell you, this is really kind of exciting because Jesus' ministry did not officially start until John was put into prison. You know, John the Baptist, who ended up being beheaded. Maybe you don't know that. You just need to read this story because this is really good. I mean, it's a true story. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, read the Bible from... Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and you'll get a really detailed um, idea of what happened in um, Jesus' pre-ministry and ministry time. So um, anyway, so what it says here is, as soon, oh, okay, as long as there was a voice, Jesus kept quiet. But as soon as that voice was removed, when John was put in prison, the, um, time was for him to step up and begin his work. We need to be the same way. We need to be eager to do his work. We need to be ready to step up when there's a need. Now, a while back, I had what my daughter once called the Ministry of Band-Aids. I don't know whether she started that one name or I did, but basically what it is, is that when there's a need in a ministry, you fill that need until someone else comes along in the same way that a band-aid kind of covers over the um the injury until it's healed now today i was scratched by my cat and oh my goodness the blood that came out it kind of surprised me but once i put a bandage on it it stopped bleeding and now it's healing it's got a scab or whatever you know the skin is healing and resealed back together no more blood <laughs> And all of that in one day. And it's kind of amazing. And that's kind of how it works. When we are um, filling a need in the church or in the community that, um, there, that we can step in and do it in the same way that Jesus would have done it. So what we want to do is, well, to try and step up. Try to fill the need. Um when Jesus first started in his ministry, he was actually helping out at a wedding for his mother because his mother's, they had run out of the beverage at the wedding, which was wine. And so she asked him to help. And his mother said, we need this help. And so Jesus said, oh my goodness, it's not my time yet. But then he still helped. He stepped up. And sometimes we're like that. We're like, oh my goodness, it's not what I wanted to do, but I'll still fill in the need. And, you know, if we're doing it as if we're doing it for Jesus, then that's a good thing. And, and we're helping out that person. If we're doing it grumbling the whole way, then we're not going to do a good job. So let's try really hard to do something, not in a grumbly way, but in a way that we're helping the person who has the need. And in a way that we can say that we did it as unto the Lord. And that's kind of the thought that I want for us today. And kind of think on that tomorrow when you get up, start thinking and looking around and see if there's a need that you can fill like Jesus did. And I'll see you tomorrow.